Hello and yajong to each and every one of you. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to make chili bamboo and pork stir fry. And their stir fry is super easy and super delicious to make as long as you can find all the ingredients to do so. It's probably one of the most simplest and delicious stir fries that I typically love to make on a daily basis or on a lazy weekend, weekday, um, to just eat it with fresh steamed rice. That's super flavorful and simple to make. In the Hmong culture, you can typically find the stir fry being made for special occasions, for big parties, for um, special events, or just on a general basis. So let's just get to it and show you how to make it. Let's go. So the first thing you want to do is to cut the meat. So here I'm using some pork belly that I've cut into bite-sized pieces here. They're a little bit more on the thicker side here like this uh, without the skin. So I'm using pork belly without the skin. You can cut it even smaller if you want. It's really up to you. Some other vegetables I'll be adding in here is some diced yellow onion, um, some fresh minced garlic, and some green onions that I slice about one and a half to two inches. For seasoning, it's pretty basic. I have some oyster sauce, some chili flakes here. It's totally optional. If you don't want to add it, you don't have to, but I like a little bit of kick to it. And then I have some salt. So for the chili bamboo. So chili bamboo is basically just bamboo that has been preserved in chili oil. So this is the brand that I like to use. It's Roland. This brand is kind of hard to find. It depends on your local Asian grocery store. Sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. I like using this one because it's more on the sweeter side. It's not too salty and the bamboo is doesn't have much of a strong musty bamboo flavor and smell to it, which is really nice. So we'll be using two cans of these. And then I'm also gonna be using a can of bamboo shoots that's been cut into strips like this. This is just plain bamboo that's been preserved in water and some citric acid. So we're gonna use one can of this to kind of help balance the oiliness of the chili oil bamboo. Now chili bamboo can be bought at your local Asian grocery store, usually in the dry good area or the canned food area. And there's so many types of chili bamboos out there. There's different brands, different textures, different cut of the bamboo, um, different preservatives. So you really have to find one that fits your palate. I've tried multiple different brands and I found Roland to be my favorite brand to use just because of the flavor. So again, it's really up to you. Find the one that fits your flavor palette and use that one. So before stir frying, I like to drain the chili bamboo. Allow this to drain and sit for about maybe 15 minutes. Um, I find that it could be a little bit too oily, so go ahead and drain and pat it dry if you need to. For the bamboo strips here, I'm just gonna drain it and then give it a really good rinse. And just let it sit over a bowl and let it drain for about five to 10 minutes. Okay, let's go ahead and start stir frying. So in a really good nonstick pan, we're gonna add in all of the pork belly here. Season it with some salt. And let this cook on medium high heat for about five to eight minutes or until it's nice and golden brown to your liking. So at this point, the pork is cooked to my liking. As you can tell, there's a lot of excess grease that has been cooked out, so I'm gonna remove all of it. Okay, let's go in with the minced garlic. We're gonna add in the diced onions here. And let this cook for about a minute or so. And then let's go straight in with all of the bamboo. Let's season it with the oyster sauce, chili flakes, and give it a really good stir. Cook this on high heat for about two minutes. And after that, we're gonna add in the sliced green onions. Give it a good stir and cook it for a minute or so. And then that's it. Go ahead and taste the stir fry for seasonings. If you want this a little bit more spicier, saltier, um, it's really up to you. But other than that, we are done. 
Let's plate this and this is pretty much it for the stir fry. Now the best way to eat this is simply over fresh steamed rice. This stir fry has so much flavor to it that a little bit goes a long way. So enjoy it however you like. This is such a simple stir fry to make on a daily basis. So with that being said, I hope you can give this recipe a try. And until then, I will see you in my next video.